Hey guys, Aquius Adi here, and this video is going to be a build of one of my favorite roles, the Tactical Advocate. This role is a modified support role that is going to provide you and your team with both offensive and defensive buffs. The first skill for this build is going to be the Smart Cover skill. I haven't seen anyone on matchmade teams using this skill, which surprises me because this skill is very useful. Smart Cover reduces the incoming damage and boosts allies' damage if they are behind a Smart Covered area. This seems to be best offline since NPCs attack from one direction most of the time and it's easier to hold down one area in PvE than it is in PvP. I like to run this with the Recharger mod so that I can give myself and my teammates some small healing in addition to the damage resistance and damage boost. The next skill that belongs to the Tactical Advocate build is the Pulse skill. The Pulse skill is most effective with the Tactical Scanner mod as this allows you and your team to do increased damage while still boosting crit chance and hit. Unlike Smart Cover, this skill is very useful in the Dark Zone and will most likely be a part of many PvP builds. That being said, this is also very great to use in PvE because this will help you take out NPCs a lot faster. The signature skill can go two ways, depending on if you want to run your support as defense or medical. If medical, you should go with the recovery link, which will heal, revive, and cure nearby allies with the chance to overheal, giving you great medical support. If it's defense, then you should definitely go with the survivor link choice. And honestly, I would probably go with this option as it provides extra damage resistance and increases speed for yourself and allies, which kind of keeps close to the theme that the tactical advocate has been following. Either option is good, but it depends on how you want to play and how you want to fit into the role on your team. Talents are going to be where the tactical advocate is going to be more supportive than it is going to be trying to give buffs. Since this build is a modified support build, we're going to use talents to further help the team. First, I would say the combat medic will be a talent that will be useful for a support build. Using a med kit near allies or proxies within 20 meters will heal them by 40%. Even if you have already have a dedicated healer in your group, this will help spread help when you might find yourself in a pinch and give everyone else a boost when they weren't expecting it. To increase your own vitality, I would suggest going with the critical save talent. Using a med kit at low health will give you 40% damage resistance for 10 seconds. This allows you to take some hits as you set up or escape whatever situation you may be in. Next, we will go with tech support. Tech support will extend your active skills time by 10% if you kill any hostile while there is a skill deployed. This will help your smart cover last longer and will be very helpful while you're waiting to unlock the mastery skill for the smart cover. And finally, we will go with tactical advance for the fourth skill. This one will greatly increase your damage when combined with Smart Cover and Pulse. Completing a cover-to-cover -cover move will increase your weapon damage by 2% per meter for 10 seconds. I would recommend taking cover, shooting your Smart Cover to a location you want to go, and then moving cover-to-cover -to, -cover to get there in order to receive the most benefit and attack boost from this. Now as for attributes, I think this class needs to be a little bit tanky with all the defense options this class provides. That being said, the build relies on skills that increase damage as well, so we need to split the points gained from gear. I think this class would be great having around 20% in firearms, 50% in stamina, and 30% in electronics. This way you still have some offensive power, but you have a great boost to health and a slight boost to skill power, which will help you provide more damage and defense for your team. That's all for the Tactical Advocate build. As always, if my slight theory crafting in some areas turns out to be wrong, I will provide an update to correct the errors. I have been using this class offline, but I have not unlocked some of the talents and the signature skills that I have recommended in this video, so if they do not work the way I think they are, I will update the video. Comment below if you have any questions or suggestions for this build, or any build that you want to see or think is viable. Keep an eye out for my next video that will focus on a solo build, and as always, thanks for watching. Watching.